Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a special new Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So yeah, I mean, it's not new that I'm doing the Spirit Pick Me Up readings, but I haven't done one in a while because we started doing these as weeklies on top of the overalls, but it just came up in the comments that someone needed a Spirit Pick Me Up. And so why I'm calling it new is going forward, if you ever feel like you need a Spirit Pick Me Up reading, you can mention that to say, I need, I would like a Spirit Pick Me Up in any comment comment on any video and I'll make sure I do it next. So I'd like to offer that to everybody on the channel because, you know, I don't do personal readings anymore. I'm just posting freely on the channel um, and I'm only here on YouTube, you know, posting. And if you ever feel in between, like you really need a spur pick me up and I haven't done one in a while, you know, you could just say on any video on, you know, in the comments anywhere, I need a spur pick me up and I'll be more than happy to make that my next video. So that's what's new. So yeah, I haven't done one in a while and until the comment, I didn't realize that I have because um, it kind of changed in the sense that people wanted it weekly and then but the messages that come out are just kind of an explanation mark on the overall weekly so it does have a different tone so we're going to tap into the six free spirit decks uh, to get direct love support backing and I call these a spirit pick me up because I feel like these these are all channeled messages, first of all. I know I don't usually talk in the beginning of my readings because I just usually just want to get right into it, but I did create 10 decks and uh, for the free spirit readings and all the free spirit cards that you see, I usually use six, right? And so for the spirit pick me up readings, um, we're tapping into six decks and they each have a different purpose, right? And so the first one we'll pick, and this is the spirit pick me ups are when it's completely open. I'm not asking for just messages for the week or for the month, or I'm just asking a spirit pick me up what, completely open. What do they want to bring forth, right? Now, and I also feel if you need a spirit pick me up, you're not alone in that, right? We all could use a spirit pick me up. And I feel that, you know, we're definitely tapping in higher here. Just clear out and get ready to receive messages that will support your mind body spirit and your journey and what would be the most helpful to carry in your head and heart and so they know better than I so I just trust what comes out and so we're completely open so we're going to tap into the natural oracle for life for messages for the journey mind body and spirit what to keep in our mind that would be the most helpful right now and another thing like if you're guided it's meant to you I don't try and direct people to my channel you know I'm not on other social media it's just freely posted so it's all they know better than me I just freely post here um, so the natural oracle for life is what they feel would uplift you right now to hold in your mind and heart all of these messages are for love support backing and what to hold in your mind and heart this covers mind body spirit and your journey natural oracle for life it's like a hybrid tarot oracle we're going to tap into real divine self-care messages what are they saying are the most helpful for real divine self-care we're going to tap into divine uh divine power what are they saying your divine power could be best used for at this time we're going to tap into real divine abundance um, messages to stay connected with real divine abundance of all forms right now despite everything else that we may see or feel we're going to tap into the divine spirit deck which is divine spirit messages from divine spirit loved ones passed on your spirit guides for your divine spirit and we're going to end it with pure love from spirit which i believe this all is um so we're going to tap in and i have chills when i see this and you know what's interesting when the request came through to do a spirit pick me up reading I was thinking, wow, I haven't done one in a while. I could really use one also. And I was like, let me write this down because I was in the middle of work. So I was emailing myself to do this video. And I looked at the clock, it was 11.11. So I knew that it was the right thing to offer on the channel. You know, if you ever feel you need a spirit pick me up, you just say I need a spirit pick me up anywhere on any comment, any video on the channel. And I'll make sure it's the next video I do because I truly believe in a, a bird just flew by that we're not alone. So if you feel you need a spirit pick me up, I mean, unbeknownst to me, I could use one too. And I'm sure other people who are watching this right now too could too. So it's, um, you know, don't hold back with that. Feel free and I'll make sure it's the next video I do. So that's what's new. <laughs> um, okay, so let's tap into the natural ochre for life and see what messages want to come through for our body, mind, and spirit. What messages want to come through for this reading. And I created a playlist on my channel. If you ever need a spirit pick-me-up reading, they're all in there. If you want a quick spirit pick-me-up, there's a quick spirit pick-me-up playlist too where I just use a couple of decks, not all six. 
So we have Quick Spirit Pick Me Up with a couple of decks. And uh, the Spirit Pick Me Up readings are the ones that have used all the decks, like right now, so all six. So let's see what wants to come through right away. Yes, that's what they want to say. Number one, Rocky Road. The path is not always smooth, but it's always leading to somewhere, and you will reach smoother paths down the road. We kept on getting uh, the Archangel Michael card that was saying, stay the course. Despite if it's a bumpy road, Rocky Road, it has not been easy, and they know it hasn't been, and it's not always smooth, and it's not always easy, but it's always leading to somewhere, and they're always saying, trust and have faith that you're going to reach smoother uh, paths down the road, and so that's the number one message that they want to bring forth at this time um so let's see what else they want to bring forth at this time for all of us okay right away we're getting yeah good times good friends you will find like-minded people who have a free spirit as you do so happy times connecting with those you can fly with so even though it's not easy it's a rocky road you are going to find like-minded people like-hearted minded people to connect with now this could be personal or business but it's supporting uh good connections at this time even though the path has been uh, bumpy. So let's see what else they want to bring forth. Believe in something greater, especially during these bumpy roads. Yes. Calming down, harvest time. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so the message is here. Believe in something greater. Weathering the storm, stay vibrant and passionate, harvest time. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this is just so, it's like a sentence, and I don't know if you're getting it even before I read the card. So they're saying, you know, the path is not always smooth, but it's always leading to somewhere. You're going to reach smoother paths down the road. You're going through rocky roads, but still connecting with good people, uh, like-minded, like-hearted people are probably making it an easier time for you right now. Believe in something greater. Um, it's also coming in hand in hand, helping you to calm down your emotions, believing there's something greater than you at work, that all is happening for a reason and for a high purpose. And this will help you calm down every time you get kicked up in emotions during the rocky times, right? Um, it's time to calm down all the colors of your emotions and let them all calm down to rest. See the beauty in being able to control and calm all emotions. So your belief in something greater that all is happening for a reason is helping you and they're helping you to calm down all your emotions and weather the storms quite underneath the rocky roads that you're so strong during this time that it's not been easy or smooth but that it's literally weathering the storms like a palm tree does you will weather the storms by being flexible and strong at the same time and you will not just arrive but come out of it all even more resilient and stronger for it and that's the blessing after the storm so that's what they're saying you're rising with strength and resilience and they want you to stay vibrant and passionate now and that's been a recurring message um so quite literally they're saying stay vibrant and bold and new bold energy will serve you well now and you will express vibrant energy and be very passionate right now and here it comes harvest time it is harvest time they're saying you have worked so hard and you now a much deserved harvest is now coming from your efforts so they're acknowledging there's first of all their harvest and good things coming in a repeating message they're acknowledging it has not been easy at all it has been a really bumping long rocky road um, but they are saying they're going to be smoother paths down the road that you have literally weathered the storms becoming more resilient and strong through it believe there's always something greater than you at work. Everything's happening, happening for a higher reason, a higher purpose. And that is helping you to calm down your emotions and weather these storms, stay vibrant. And they're saying, you know, rewards for your efforts are going to be coming in. And this is what they want you to know. So in the meantime, um, let's get Real Divine self-care messages. What are they advising for Real Divine self-care during this time as we're going through? Look where it's landing on calming down. Yeah, we're getting a couple of things here. Okay, so right here, number one is you are constantly growing, evolving, and expanding. So they want you to recognize and honor your progress. They want you to recognize and honor your progress. Wow, it has not been easy. That almost gets tears in my eyes because I always say they know what you're doing how you're getting through and keep following your heart. Let it light up the way for you. Yes, they want you to stay vibrant and passionate, no doubt about it. And to remind yourself, you're constantly growing, evolving, expanding. They want you to honor your progress as you've been going down this road and feel the situations and people involved and trust what you get intuitively. It's been a recurring message. It's almost your divine guidance, your 
intuition, your connection to your higher self, everything you're connected to is helping you to feel situations and people involved and trust what you're getting intuitively because you're getting guided through this whole way. Believe in something greater that's almost giving you the guidance. Trust what you're picking up. I always say uh, through this time, these rocky roads, I kept on saying like we kept on getting blessed with being more highly attuned, right? Um, using beyond just the five senses that you're going by your divine headlights, your divine connection, signs, symbols, messages, synchronicities, what you're getting instinctively, intuitively. Um, that's how you're navigating everything. And so to lean into this more, trust what you're getting intuitively, um, that's helping you in all regards, quite literally. So now let's tap into your divine power. What's your divine power being used for? So almost like feel the situations and people and trust what you're getting as you're going. Keep following your heart and honor your progress. Recognize and honor your progress. There's something about that. Let's get, oh wow. Okay, what is your divine power being used for? You have divine power to rise up for this now. Yes, we kept on getting that because it has not been easy to rise up above challenges, situations, everything else. If feel situations and people involved trust what you get intuitively sometimes it's for us to rise up above situations things you have divine power to help feel more love help feel more love yeah believe in something greater and your higher connection is helping you to feel more love during this path i want to say to rise up and feel more love you have divine power so shine that out now yeah they want you vibrant and passionate um you have divine power to tune in more to tune in more there's something about to tune in more, to rise up, help feel more love, shine that out, tune in more. Yes, yes, yes. And the last one here, you have divine power to bring more peace in here. There's something about calming down, right? So whenever anything is like... Um, disturbing you or anything believe in something greater your connection is actually helping you to calm down your emotions another thing that has been um coming up repeatedly in readings that everything in the world is so much input to actually cause unrest chaos kick up fears doubts everything else but it's through your connection right they're saying tune in more and create more peace in here i just want to say it's almost like these two cards combined here your connection is actually having you calm down uh during this time it's just really interesting that's how you're making it through this uh the rocky roads here and staying vibrant shine that out now that's what they're literally giving you the power to do um to stay connected and help feel more love and rise above it rise above it because look you're smoother paths are down the road and they're saying you're going to get much deserved harvests harvest coming from your efforts so no matter what it's like stay calm and carry on <laughs> stay calm and carry on like stay calm and carry on vibrant and passionate no matter what i know that just words but that's like a 24 7 job and they're keeping you in that vein so to speak so much deserved harvest coming let's tap into real divine abundance to stay connected to real divine abundance in all forms because they're saying you've worked so hard and a much deserved harvest is now coming from your efforts so this is also a, a repeating message but let's get real divine abundance what to you stay connected to real divine abundance what are they saying to keep in our minds and hearts to stay connected yeah look at that take time away to reflect relax reflect and dream of more and trust everything right now is in the works for you it went right in my hands everything is in the works for you that's key it's key that's what's keeping you vibrant and passionate right um hold on we're gonna get more messages but yeah, you always have divine help, always guiding you further along the path. Absolutely. That's why they're like, trust what you get intuitively here. That just wanted to be shown. Divine connections will be made along the way. I almost feel it's these divine connections um, in personal and in business that they are assuring you during these rocky roads, divine connections will be made along the way. Not only are you divinely connected, here's your divine connection to something greater, but here in the physical, like-minded, like-hearted people, you're having divine connections as well in the physical with your work with your personal that's what they're giving you um to help with this and know you always have divine help and support helping you to create more abundance for you like they said these are your divine partners and you can almost calm down in this fact that that came out in another reading and i've chills with this that if something doesn't work out that 
that thing was not your source um, because you're always connected. You always have divine help and support helping you to create more divine abundance. Trust what you're getting intuitively. Here's your connection because they're helping you to bring more in from your efforts. That's a, what they're saying. So know you always have divine help and support helping you to create more divine abundance. That's what they're saying right here. Trust everything right now is in the works for you um, and divine connections will be made along the way. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, now they want me to go into divine spirit messages to tie this all in. Direct divine spirit messages from divine spirit, loved ones, custom, your spirit guides to you. What are the divine spirit messages Ooh, that they want to bring forth? It's almost like rewards are coming from your efforts. They know it has not been easy. Um, you continually believe in something greater. Everything's happening for a greater reason and purpose, and it's calming you down and helping you to stay more vibrant and passionate as you go forward. And and you're going to get a return. There's going to be a deserved harvest coming from your efforts, right? They're like, trust what you're getting intuitively along the way because they're helping you to support you, help and support you to create more abundance. So trust and fill situations like what's working out, what's not working out, what are you feeling from the situations? Is it supporting this or is it not? You know, divine connections are going to be made along the way. You are supported to take action. Wow, wow, wow. You're supported to take action and you may want to say no. Yeah, I, what I was kind of saying with this, trust what you're getting. Some things may not be supporting this and some will, and you're going to feel that. Like they said, trust what you feel intuitively um, because just you may want to say no sometimes to things. Um, yeah, that's what they're saying. You may want to say no to some things. Go within for the answers now. Yeah, there was a lot about trust what you're getting intuitively. Go within for the answers now and show up and be there fully. Wow, wow. There are so many divine. Yeah. Okay. Go within for the answers now. Because this thing, I can't explain this enough. Like following, trusting what you're getting intuitively because they're helping you to have rewards for your hard work. You're having divine help and support to create more. Trust what you're getting. Like feel situations and people out. Go within for the answers now. Trust what you're getting. Um, they literally want you to show up and be there fully now. So that is staying vibrant and powerful passionate with what you're doing. Spirit has your back with this. You can't make this up. Trust what you're feeling. They're doubling down. Trust what you're feeling as you're going because that's part of know you always have divine help and support. So trust what you're feeling. Trust what you're picking up along the way um, and follow through because they're almost like co-creating this with you. They're almost creating, co-creating. So feel situations out and don't let it damper your spirit um, with some things that, you know, we have so much. You have divine help here now. You, they're doubling down here. They have divine help with with rewards for our deserved harvest coming in from your efforts. You have divine help. They're saying trust the process. Can't make this up. You have more strength than you know. Going back to here, there's this very important, they are saying that you've come out of this. It's been not easy, Rocky Road, but you're weathering the storms, coming out more strong, more resilient. You have more strength than you know. You keep going, staying vibrant and passionate. Wow, wow, wow. Keep your focus and you have a big yes on that. Keep your focus. You have a big yes on that. So there's something about supporting you to stay vibrant and passionate. It has not been easy. Don't let that diminish you in any way. Stay vibrant and passionate. Divine connections are being made along the way. You're staying connected to something greater. Everything's happening for a greater reason, purpose. It's helping you to calm down, calm down and carry on and keep doing the work. You know, things that you're supposed to do, you have more strength than you know to trust the process and keep your focus. Like, Go in that vein. Yes. Big yes. Stay vibrant and bold. This is going to serve you very well. And it's going to bring the return. Deserved harvest is coming from your efforts. Now, there's going to be some things that you might say no to. They want you to know. Trust the process. You Trust what you're feeling. You have to find help here. So that's when, when you're feeling things out. What are the right moves? What are the right steps? Trust everything you're feeling. There were a couple of cards about, you know, well, right here. Trust what you're feeling. Trust what you're getting intuitively. Because um, that's the help. That's the help. Okay, so we're going to end it with divine spirit. You have divine help here. You can't make this up. You have divine help here now. And this is the message. You know, you always have divine help and support helping you to create more abundance for you. That's the key message for this. That's the key message for this whole reading. Do you see? You have a big yes on that. That's the big... 
it almost gives me tears. My There's no words. Uh, sometimes I hear myself talk. It gives no justice to what I'm feeling and what I'm getting. I just hope you feel it because this is, it's narrowing it down. We are around you. We are around you. Trust what you are feeling. That's what I'm saying. The waves, the chills. When I'm, beyond what I'm saying, I almost feel the English language doesn't do it justice. My readings don't do it justice. Like what I try and do on here doesn't do it justice. Um, trust what you're feeling. You have divine help here. Now we are around you. Know you always have divine help and support, helping you to create more abundance for you. That's why they want you to stay vibrant and passionate. And you're going to get rewards like a harvest coming from your efforts with this. In the meantime, what they help you with is trust the way to navigate it this is you, right? You feel the situations and then people, you trust what you're feeling. You trust your intuition. Um, that's trust what you're getting intuitively. That's how they're connecting to you and giving you that guidance. We are around you. That's how you're receiving it. So they're helping you on the steps. They're helping you trust what you're feeling. You have divine help here. We're around you. Yes, yes, you're getting that directly and you're getting signs, symbols, messages externally, but they're helping you internally. So just trust what you're feeling. Trust. Yes, we love you. Yes. Yes, they're helping us through it. That's it. I mean, look at this. We are around you. We know how you feel. Trust how you feel. They know how you feel. I feel like this is, it has not been easy. There are times we just want to throw our hands up from all our efforts. We feel they're not leading to this. There are no rewards for our efforts. Like you keep, like they said, you've worked so hard. Now a much deserved harvest is now coming from your efforts. Do you know how long this rocky road has been? They know what you're feeling. We know how you feel about that. We are around you. We know how you feel. We love you. We will help you through it. And we, you cannot make this up. We know all that has happened. We know all that has happened. We know all that has happened. They know all that has happened on this road. They know all that has happened. So yes, we are around you. We know how you feel. We love you. We will help you through it. We know all that has happened. And they're saying, we know you always have divine help and support. You hear the sirens, help and support coming 24 seven. You do. And it's helping you to create more abundance. And they're saying you've worked so hard and much deserved harvest is coming from your efforts. Stay vibrant and passionate. They're going to be divine connections made along the way. I almost feel your divine connection, believing in something great greater helps you calm down and stay vibrant and keep doing the work trust what you're feeling along the way that's your connection and also divine connections are being made to make this possible like in the physical your personal your work and everything else but yeah we're around you we know how you feel we love you we are helping you through it we see all that has happened trust the process yeah we, no trust what you're feeling you have divine help here now you can't make this up you have divine help you have divine help so that's what they're saying. We, you have divine help. Divine help is mentioned. You have divine help. You no, know, you always have divine help and support helping you to create more abundance for you. And you're getting that directly, intuitively. So that's why they doubled down a million times. Trust what you're getting. Trust what you get intuitively. Calm down and trust what you're getting intuitively. They even said, go within for the answers. Like they, are, they help you. They guide you. And they also want you to calm down and continue being vibrant and passionate now. And yes, yes, they're saying you've worked so hard now a much deserved harvest is now coming from your efforts they know all that has happened on this road it has seemed endless and hard and difficult and they're saying you will reach smoother roads smoother paths down the road we know all that has happened we are around you we know how you feel we love you we will help you through it and they are helping you through it and that's what you're getting intuitively that's your direct connection divine connection and also they're bringing divine connections with you but i wish you the best this has been the spirit pick me up reading and messages for all of us at this time and if you ever feel you need just feel free to say i would love a spirit pick me up in any comment on any video and it will be the next video i do and i wish you the best take care Bye bye